I am. <laughs> all right, so we, I, I got caught up so much, you know, looking at all those wonderful uh, treats over there. So uh, I'm hungry. Anyway, getting a spa treatment is such a great way to relax and indulge yourself. I mean, we're all kind of crazy and busy, and it's nice to take time off for ourselves. But we don't always have the time or the money to do it, and that's why... We thought we'd bring Kelly Ziegler, who is the spa director at the spot Camelback Inn, and her beautiful model here, um, to show us some spa treatments that you can actually make at home from herbs in your very own garden. Now, first of all, I have to tell you, I have been to your spa, and it is wonderful. Thank you. So, you know, I don't know how many times I'm going to be taking the herbs from my garden, although I do have one, but I have been there and love it. So, um, let's talk a little bit about what can we actually take from our garden that could be used to make spa treatments? Um, almost everything from the garden could be used in the spa treatment. We have a little bit right here, some examples. Um, some cherries would be produce. Um, pumpkin is another thing that comes to mind in the fall. Mm -hmm. Very stimulating, very exfoliating. Of course, rosemary, basil, lavender. Those are some of the really readily available and simple ingredients. And what's so nice about all of these ingredients is that, first of all, they're natural, yeah. so they're good for you. You know, they're good to put inside your body, but how nice to have them, you know, on your skin, which is, you know, your largest organ, so it, go, it penetrates. Then you're going to smell good and uh, feel, good know, too. feel good, too. So now, how would we take these items and then turn them into some sort of a spa pro treatment that we can use on our face or body? Well, one of the simplest little things we have right here is it's actually just yogurt. Okay. Just, we used Greek yogurt. It's a little bit thicker. And you take about 20 fresh cherries and you pit them. You puree them with about, oh, six to eight ounces of yogurt. You can kind of play with it a little mm -hmm. bit. And you can use that as a mask. And we'll demonstrate here <laughs> on Terry very gently. we got to keep people away from you that are hungry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, facial mask. And of course, you would apply that evenly all over the face. Mm -hmm. um, you would leave it on about 15 to 20 minutes. The other areas you always want to think about, of course, are the neck. Well, you know, we always see people all the time, you know, the quintessential spa picture is somebody, you know, laying down with either, you know, mayonnaise, guacamole, yogurt, something on their face, <laughs> yeah. and they've got the cucumbers on their eyes. Yes. So it's always something that is, you know, is fresh, a fresh vegetable, a fresh herb, something. And now, let me just ask you, in your spa, do you use a lot of, you know, these types of ingredients? Not, I mean, not necessarily cherries, but other organic herb-like, you know, products? Yes, we actually do. Um, one of our, two of our facials right now, one in particular um, uses, it's called Naturopathica. It's an organic skincare line. And actually the ingredients are, in fact, one product that we have right here, this is actually a cherry mask. Oh, it is? Okay. And then this mist right at here actually is lavender with honey in it. Mm. So, um, and of course, most of the products we use are professional products. So the herbs have really been professionally distilled down, concentrated, the right combination to really get that antioxidant quality to the skin. But if you are going to do this at home, would you just suggest going over either to one of the you know, the neighborhood grocery stores, maybe go to a farmer's market, if per se you don't have a garden that you would be getting it, you know, to do it yourself. I would definitely suggest a farmer's market or like Whole Foods because I think organic is the best, mm -hmm. especially because it's going on the skin. And like you mentioned, Robin, it's our largest organ, so it's really going to absorb what we've ever put on. And plus, it'd be a fun little adventure. I think it'd make a whole day of I it. know. It would be great. Get your friends, friends together and, you know, everybody can sit around and, you know, make each other up, right? <laughs> Definitely. Now, we talked about Fourth of July. It's a big weekend. It's coming up. We've got a lot of people, you know, on vacation now. Is there anything going on at the spa, Camelback Spa, that you want to share with us that, you know, maybe some specials or things that people can come and enjoy? Yes, we are actually, we're doing our summer special mm -hmm. all summer long till the end of August. $50 off any one hour spa treatment. It's the greatest deal. You can treat yourself. You spend an hour with us, we're going to give you the whole day. Really? $50 off. Our services start at $135, so that's less than $100. And then when people come to the spa, they can come and use the other facilities, correct? They can use all the facilities. We have the beautiful pool. I think everybody knows about our pool. 
um, our steam rooms, our saunas. We have exercise classes, incredible instructors. Great. So your choice is you can come to the spa, you can do it homemade, or perhaps you can do it both. Spoil yourself both way, right? <laughs> Spoil yourself both way is what I say. And yeah. you know, one of the things that we talked about just now was that so many people come to places like Camelback Inn and Spa from outside the state, but what we don't realize is that we should really take advantage of our wonderful, you know, venues, hotels, resorts when we live here. It's kind of a nice treat. It's that staycation. Staycations. I love staycations. My husband and I do it frequently mm -hmm. around town. Um, you really feel like you've gotten away. Yeah, I, I, I love it. I'm, yes. exci I'm excited to be doing this. I'm excited to come and do a staycation in my own town. Well, we'll be looking for you. Thank staycation you. Staycation at Camelback Inn. All right, Kelly. And all right, Terry, thank you so Michael. much for being such a beautiful model. For more information, uh, go to SonoranLiving.com, including some spa deals at Camelback Inn. Coming up next, an author helps us get organized. Who doesn't need a little help in that area? Don't miss it. Thanks for watching Sonoran Living Live. We're back in a quick second.